are A and B in series here. Yeah. yeah. Because anything that goes through here is forced to go through B, and anything that goes through B is forced to go through A. So A and B would be in series. Are B and C in series? Are B e and C in series? No. no, because something that leaves B doesn't have to go through C. It could go this way instead and bypass C. So B and C are not in series. I think some people might say they're in series because if you go through B, you could end up going through C as well. But they're not in series because if you go through B, you're not forced to go through C. So series doesn't just mean that you have the option of going through both of them, but that if you go through one, you're forced to go through the other. So these two are not in series. Uh, clearly, C and D are not in series. If you go through C, you can just go this way and never go through D. How about C and E? Are C and E in series? No. no. Because if you go through C, you don't have to go this way. You can go this way instead. That would actually force you to go against the current, but that's OK. The, the point is just that there's a path through C that doesn't go through E. Uh, I, guess, uh, I guess this would be the simplest path. You can just keep going around like this. Here's a loop that doesn't go through uh, E. So, these, uh, so C and E are not in series. Maybe an easier way to put it is um, if you go through E, you're certainly not forced to go through C. Instead, you could go this way. Again, that would force you to be thinking about the, um, going opposite to the current, but that's OK. So you're only in series if anything that goes through C has to go through E, and anything that goes through E has to go through C. Maybe it helps to think about it both ways. Are C and D in parallel? Yes. Because the tops are directly connected with no intermediate devices, and the bottoms are directly connected with no intermediate devices. Good. How about now? Are C and D in parallel now? No, because now there is an intermediate device. So uh, this makes, should make it clear what I mean by intermediate devices. Now the tops are connected, but there is an intermediate device. So these would not be considered parallel. I think a lot of students get this wrong and think that they are parallel, because they kind of look parallel. Uh, but they're not parallel because there's an intermediate device on the path between the, the two devices. So what we just learned here is that when devices are in series, they have to have the same current. Devices in series have to have the same current. I would recommend, though, we shouldn't try to memorize that. That should be obvious from our ski lift analogy. If two points um, are in series in the ski lift path, um, they have to have the same flow of skiers through both of them. But if two points are in series, they have to have the same current. And what we saw over here is that if two points are in parallel, they have to have the same voltage drop. Two points in parallel have to have the same voltage drop. Points in series have to have the same current, and points in parallel have to have the same, I shouldn't say voltage drop, I should say the same voltage change. Points in parallel have to have the same voltage change. And we can see why that is. Let's say that you decided to go from here to here. Well, if you go from here to here down this path, you're losing 15 volts of height. Well, you've got to lose the same amount of height when you take any path between these two points, because they have the same starting and ending points. So again, we shouldn't have to memorize that the things that are in parallel have the same voltage change. That should be obvious if we think of voltage change as the change in your height. out about this circuit. There's probably a bunch of things we can't figure out, but what can we definitely figure out in this circuit?
Good. Excellent. Excellent. Good. Are there any precise numbers that we know? What you said was good so far. Let's see if we can figure out the current through resistor C. Because it has to be 15 again? Yeah, think about it in terms of skiers. How can there be 15 skiers per second moving up the ski lift? Well, only if there's 15 skiers per second moving into the ski lift. Yeah. Or are these two points in series? Yes. So they have to have the same current based on what we memorized, but it's better to think about the intuition. Um, the only the reason there's 15 skiers per second moving up the ski lift is because 15 skiers per second are moving into the ski lift through this point. Does this have to be 15 amps? No. Is it going to be bigger or smaller than 15 amps? Smaller. Yeah. What's the relationship between these two currents? They add up to 15 amps. Yeah. Good. By the way, are these two things in series? Um, no. No, because if you go through here, you're not forced to go through A. If you go through B instead, that also shows us that this doesn't have to be 15 amps, because they're not in series with each other. OK, good. Um, does this have to be 20 volts? Um, no. In fact, is it bigger or smaller than 20 volts? It's not really smaller. Because this, um, if we're gaining 20 units of height here, well, we can only be losing some of that height over here, because we're losing the rest of the height over here. Let's say this is 6 volts. What can we figure out now? 6 volts across this resistor. Um, if that's 6 volts, then um, C has to be 14 volts. Because if you gain 20 units of height going up the ski lift and you lose 6 units going down this path, you'd have to lose the remaining 14 units of height over this portion to get back to where you started. Good. Anything else we can figure out now? see that is we know that this plus this has to add to 20. Good. There's another way that's maybe even more straightforward. Let's say you have a skier who's going from here to here. Well, we already know that if you go from here to here through this path, you're losing 6 units of height. Well, then you must lose 6 units of height going through this path because you're going, you're going to the same, between the same two starting and ending points. Or another way to put it is we've already uh, memorized or learned that things that are in parallel have the same voltage change. Things in parallel have the same voltage change. Things in series have the same current. In series, you've got the same current. In parallel, you have the same voltage change. So that also makes sense in terms of our skiers per second and height, change in height analogies. All right, and again, these are the types of questions you'll need to be able to do. You'll be given circuits where you're told some of the numbers, and you've got to figure out all the other numbers. You've got to know what you can and can't figure out.